Hello, my name is John from Zoom, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to use the Master Effects section and accelerometer of the new all-in-one music production and performance tool, ARC. ARC comes equipped with four separate effects that can be applied to the main outputs of the unit, filter, delay, reverb, and a Master Effects unit that has phasers, chorus, compressors, limiters, EQ, and more. Each one of these effects has a set of parameters that can be adjusted using the parameter knobs. To bring up these parameters, press and hold down on the effect you wish to adjust. You will also see various preset options that you can scroll through using the selector knob. For instance, you can change reverb settings from a plate reverb to a room reverb on this page. In addition to controlling effects via parameter knobs, you can also alter effects through motion in real time using ARC's built-in accelerometer. In the settings, you can assign which effect and parameter you want to be affected by the accelerometer's different axes. To access this feature, press Menu and go to Pattern Setting. From there, select Accelerometer. There are three assignable effect parameters on this page for you to choose from. Select the Type option and scroll through with the selector knob to see the potential effect parameters you can select. To choose an axis, highlight the XY axis and press the selector knob to cycle through the options. Once you have chosen your preferred setup, press menu to exit back to the main screen. ARC comes equipped with a grip mode so you can better take advantage of the built-in accelerometer features in combination with the effects. To enter grip mode, press the grip button on the ring. You will see the ring turn blue. Grab the ring, and any pads you are currently touching will turn white. Press the grip button again, and grip mode will deactivate the pads you are touching to prevent accidental triggering. ARC also has the ability to record your motion sequences, and save your effect changes to a pattern. Select a pattern to which you wish to record effects, and hold the record button until it starts blinking. Press the play button and recording will start after the pre-count. You can now perform your motions with the arc, and the effect changes will be recorded in real time. For instance, you can set filter cutoff frequencies to move in response to the ring's x-axis. As you rotate the ring, you will hear the filter begin to affect the sound. If you wish to delete a motion sequence, or a specific parameter of a motion sequence, you can press the menu button and go to Pattern Setting. Scroll down to the option that says Erase Motion, and select it. Here you will see the available parameters that were recorded in the motion sequence. You can choose to delete a single pattern, or delete them all and start from scratch. For more information and product updates, please visit zoom-na.com.